He slowly is going to turn into cloud. All the seeding makes man-made cloud, which ends up making it rain. And the weatherman said, gee, I thought it was supposed to be a nice day. I don't know why it thundered and lightning. And I'm thinking, he needs to look up harp. H, H, let me try it again. H, A, A, R, P. I let our pastor Coles know about all this. And a guy, a kid, a teenager, they said, some kids are playing video games. This kid's out making Tesla step ray. See, that's supposed to misdirect us. We're watching that plane while we're missing the mister sidetracked over here what's going on. Like in football, they do a misdirection. And Tommy shut me out. Very funny, Tommy. dissipates as it moves. Is it over there somewhere? It kind of went too far. Oh, I see it. Right there. See? It's moving, but the smoke trail is dissipating as it moves. So you got some chemical trails that stay there and then fade out eventually and turn into man-made clouds and it starts raining using harp, and this one just slowly dissipates as it moves. So nobody can track it. It's coming and going to, like, huh, there, there was nobody here, but really there was because it flies silently and it, in other words, it doesn't make a sound, but the chemical trail dissipates as it moves. And keep in mind, I have seen one where there's no chemical trail at all and it's making no sound and then out of the blue later five or two minutes later it kicked in this the smoke trail and i go uh-huh i saw that and like i said i said it out loud too to let them know i saw your magic trick as bob Schofield says the proof's in the pudding and like I said, this one guy said, most kids are inside playing video games. This teenager is an Einstein. He made Tesla's death ray using 8,500 uh, mirrors into a plate, plate glass satellite disc, plexiglass or plate glass satellite disc, and then aim, harness the sun's ray through a PVC piping to a focal point like you do a magnifying glass, and anything he puts in the past, metal, aluminum, rock, dried mud, you name it, it melts, vaporizes. So you can imagine the government's got that stuff. I mean, first they say, I crash disc, then they say, a weather balloon, then they say a special weather balloon, then they say, Project Mogul, and then they say, 1950s time warped in the 1947 crash dummies. I mean, when are they gonna come clean with all this stuff? And this one guy got a magnifying glass and you zoom in on the information and it says the victims of the crash come, well actually not crash, victims, the victims of the disc. And I'm thinking, this, this don't, Two plus two is not a thousand, folks. They got visual stealth. When I was a kid, when I was about six or seven years old, in Langston, Ohio, years ago, in my grandparents' house, Grandma Grandpa Green's house, that's where I lived, in a green, kind of a long trailer. Anyway, it was me, then, see, my name used to be Bill, William Noble Green, Bill for short, Bill Green, named after my dad, Bill Green. And then there's Bobby Green. Now I know his name is Robert Green. 
look at the family tree on the internet. Stacy, my sister Stacy said, I'm glad you're looking up your family tree. I'm printing some of it now. Some I knew, some I didn't. Anyway, um, and then there was Chucky Green. Bobby, and then Jimmy Green, then my sis sister Cynthia Green, named after my grandma Green, Cynthia. Grandpa Green, I didn't know his name was William Tudrow Green, because uh, Green, grandma always said, always called him Ted. But, then there's Belinda and Dell, Henninger, Henninger, Misty and Ronnie, and, Misty and Ronnie, and, there are other sisters' name, I can't think of it. My mind's a blank right now, folks. Anyway. My Grandma Green and Grandpa Green, I learned later on too, worked at Acre Hawking with a glass factory. Anyway, gotta keep your eyes in the sky. It's important to get saved before it's too late. I always pray everybody gets saved for it's too late. Even my real sisters and brothers and their whole family tree. And their friends. Yeah. And outer space NASA. I pray everybody gets saved for it's too late. All you gotta do is ask Jesus to forgive you all your sins and come in the heart come in your heart and save you. It's so simple. Jesus gave you the best free gift ever and and nobody most people don't accept it. He's giving it to you. He's handing it out to you for free. I mean, I give information for free. I'm glad YouTube shares their knowledge for free. And I'm glad that Google does too. MySpace was, but I don't know why they don't give it out for free. That's why most of the church people went went to Facebook along with others. F Facebook's a good free place. And it says that it's free and always will be. And I... That's their logo, and hopefully they'll stick to it. Bob Scuffley says, when the rapture comes, when Jesus comes and takes us to heaven, it's going to be like an alien abduction. Everybody's going to say, oh no, it's an alien abduction. Hit the deck. You know, Bob, I didn't think about it, but it'll be, the rapture will be like an alien abduction. It'll be gone. Someone will be doing a lawn mowing on, boom, where'd they go? People in, in trains, the train will crash, and... Uh, planes crashing buildings because the pilot was saved and the kids that uh, are whisked away too because if they're at an age where they don't understand anything and God ain't going to let them suffer they're going to go up in heaven too but if they were, had all this chance and their knowledge of knowing to get saved then they'll be stuck in that plane that's going to crash God gives you a choice and you, he hopes you make the right choice not the wrong choice. He doesn't make robots. That's why everybody has different talents. Even though they have similar skills, some are better than others. Some are unnatural. I mean, some sing some sing sing people are born singers. Some people have to work at it. But for salvation, you don't work your salvation. You you ask forgiveness of your sins and come in heart. And as Jesus coming heart and save you, it's that simple. It's a free gift. You don't have to work for it. It's an offering for free. That's the best thing you could ever get. Knowledge is free. Bob Scuffle says the internet is the library. The kids can't afford to go out go to the library because the parents ain't got enough money to and gas to go places, and the library's too far away, then the internet is the, is the new library. 